Plate tectonics describes how the upper layers of the Earth, known as the lithosphere, are broken into about 15 major pieces. And these pieces move relative to one another. When they separate, they generally form our large ocean basins. And when they collide, they form our continents and our mountain belts on those continents. This process really controls the major physiography of the Earth's surface. Plate tectonics essentially reflects the attempt of heat that's in the Earth's interior to escape. This heat basically causes rocks in the Earth's interior to expand, and when they expand, they become less dense than the rocks that are around them. Because of this, they tend to rise upward to the upper portions of the Earth's mantle. There they cool, and then they ultimately slide laterally and sink. This is a process, an important process, that drives plate tectonics. Plate boundaries are of three types. One is called a divergent margin, that's where the plates spread apart. The other is a convergent margin, that's where one plate goes down and beneath another. And the third is called a transform fault, where the plates slide by one another. That's like the San Andreas Fault. So, divergent margin, mid-Atlantic ridge. Convergent margin, where the plate goes down, is also called a subduction zone, as the plate is subducted back down into the Earth's interior. That would be, for example, at Japan, or the Aleutians, or off the Cascades in Western North America. Transform fault, the one most visible to us is the San Andreas Fault. Tectonic plates move slowly but continuously. What we recognize is that the boundaries between those plates, however, are locked and not moving most of the time. When sufficient forces or stresses are built up in the crust as a result of the plate motions, the plate boundaries will suddenly fail. They'll slide, and when this occurs, it generates an earthquake. One of the challenges in earthquake hazard assessment is trying to identify how the system of faults that accommodate relative motions between tectonic plates work over geological timescales, but also on the timescales of earthquakes.